The police stopped by today, unfortunately. Um, apparently, Jenny has been crossing the street and harassing the neighborhood cats um, with my crutches and Brandon's load and whatnot. We can't play with Jenny very much at all. Um, so I think we need to build the fence better because, I mean, if I were in their shoes, I would not be happy at all that a neighborhood dog would be coming into our yard and harassing our animals. Our solution is to put a gate at the end of that barn, which we were already planning on doing for the goats. And then also we have a good solid fence at the first here and up to the house. So we just need to make sure that that fence over there is solid. Brandon just doesn't have time to do that and I don't, I just can't with a broken leg. So we're going to just shore it up with cattle panels for now. Um, and then we'll have cattle panels to use in the garden or whatever else when we can actually put up a fence that we like. Um, we just don't have time. So Brandon's off to um, go get cattle panels and go get some more electric fence um, equipment to build the pig structure back by that silver barn. Um, so all in all, it's, it's progress and it's working forward. I just, it'll be okay. A fence here will be good for more than just the neighbors across the street. Jenny has been pulling pillows off of the neighbor's area next to us. Um, and playing with them and sometimes absolutely shredding them. They've been super sweet and understanding. Um, several of our rabbits died, as y'all know, and sometimes I wonder if it's not because Jenny barks at them and scares them. Um, it's a possibility. So maybe with Jenny penned up back here, um, we could try again. And then also, Jenny keeps pulling things out of that white house and into the yard. So once she's penned in back here, she won't be able to do that. Now, Jenny, no more chasing cats. Do you think that'll work? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Hi, guys. Look at what we have here. Brandon went to Tractor Supply Company to get wire cutters and came home with turkeys. So you may not know this, but turkeys cannot find the water and the food by themselves. So they need to be with chicks. Now, I don't know what these are. He just bought whatever chicks they had to help the turkeys. <laughs> but we have turkeys. Um, these cannot mate and reproduce by themselves. So we're still on the hunt for some heritage breed turkeys, but we're pretty excited about these turkeys right here. Um, hey guys, be nice. Anyway, um, what do you think we should name them? So, um, I took down those fencing panels, the eight foot fencing panels. We're going to use those for a double gate and I'm going to replace it with this 16 foot fencing panel. Okay, the 16 foot panel is up and secure. And I uh, rehung our gate as it is. And um, this looks so much better than the than the two eight footers. I think also I'm gonna take some wire just to secure this bottom some. That way they don't come here and race this up and somehow manage to squeeze through. It's unlikely, but with goats you just can't, you can never take chances. Like, you don't think I can get through here? Challenge accepted. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Looks much, much better. It's not ideal, but uh, it does work. So I'm gonna go secure that. Next thing, I think I'll start building the, uh, the gate outside. I'm gonna drive a few fence posts for that. So I'll see if I can't take you guys along 
to watch me do that too. Okay, sorry I couldn't film while I was doing it because it took everything I had to just to get the fence up, but or the gate up, I should say. And here it is. Now, I know one side is bigger than the other, but that's an easy fix. I'll just raise up the other side and it'll be a perfect match. And that'll be great. It's coming along a lot better than what I thought it would. So the next thing to do is to put goat fencing right here where the uh, kind of put it at an angle where the chicken coop is because I'm sure not going to put it in front of those briars there. And then maybe angle some this way um, to avoid those briars there. But I can just I can just knock that down with my foot and that'll be good. And the ghost can eat it because it's on their side. Jeannie knew I was a little discouraged, so she came up here to cheer me up with her wet, wet paws. Ugh. Where have you been? I don't want to know. All right. So I have our gate up. And I know, I know, one side is higher up than the other. That's an easy fix, though. No, no big deal. Um, I'll just undo that and raise it up a little bit higher. But right now what I want to focus on is getting the goat fencing up here. I need to run a little bit of goat fencing right through here. I'm going to angle it. That way um, I don't have to go through those briars. And I can just knock that small stuff down with my feet. And come over here on this side. And kind of angle it here too. And... Like I said, they can eat the briars on this side. Coming along a lot better than what I thought it would. This is my first time putting up some swinging gates by myself. Not too bad. All right. That goat wiring is, the goat fencing is heavy. So I'm going to have to turn this off and drag that over here. Okay. The fence is built. Got connected to the chicken house here and two swinging gates and that's connected to the other fence. So this will keep those uh, goats in and we'll possibly keep our dog in too. There's one more spot I had to patch in the fence. Not a big deal, but uh, that should do it. It's, like I said, not ideal, but... It will get the job done until we can have something more permanent. Just have to light this together. Not too shabby. The old adage says that good fences make good neighbors. And that's what we're trying for today. Hopefully next time they have a problem, they'll actually come talk to us. Um, we're thinking about maybe sending over a dozen eggs or trying something else, but we've never met them before. How would you suggest smoothing things over with these neighbors that we've never met before? Let us know in the comments, please. Thanks for watching.